Just look at the level of detail here. The blood veins, the vaults. With just a wave of my hand, I can navigate through the projection, exploring all angles of this holographic 3D heart. It's these intricate details that experts say make these next generation holograms an effective candidate to help prevent thousands of avoidable deaths that occur due to surgical mistakes every year. And they're already being put to use. These holograms' applicability in healthcare goes beyond improving surgical accuracy and safety. They are poised to elevate patient-doctor interactions to a whole new level. It's a new frontier in medicine. Now, a few years ago, holograms were the stuff of science fiction. It lets doctors anywhere train remotely. We want all my students to see this. Did you know that every year medical errors cause a quarter million deaths here in the United States alone? More than 8% of all medical errors globally happen here in the US, making medical errors the third biggest cause of death in the country. Is there a way to save some of those lives? Apparently there is, and holograms are now looked at as one potential solution. But how? How can holograms, which are nothing more than projections of light, be so valuable in healthcare? We know and have seen holograms used in retail and other industries. In Japan, there's even a fascinating concept to use it at pedestrian crosswalks to make sure drivers stop for people crossing. Wouldn't that be cool and potentially life-saving? But this video is not about the potential use cases of holograms in traffic. It's about the different ways the healthcare industry is exploring to see if holograms can help reduce medical errors, particularly those that happen during or shortly after surgeries. Every year, 100,000 people die in U.S. hospitals following elective surgery. An elective surgery is one you are not required to have immediately because your situation is not life-threatening. Earlier this year, I went to Barcelona, Spain to attend one of the world's largest tech exhibits where Hyper VSN, a UK-based manufacturer of holographic projections, had its products on display. Everybody seemed as captivated as I was by Hyper VSN's super cool holograms featuring complete humans, body parts, merchandise, and even an AI-powered hologram interacting with visitors in real time. Hello, how can I assist you today? I talked to Hyper VSN's chief operating officer about their next generation holograms and why they can be a game changer in healthcare. This is the 3D effect that our technology brings to life. Why? Because we're all human beings. We live in 3D, we see this world, we interact in 3D. Up to today, we were confined to the technology that's just 2D, not effective anymore. We as human beings are wowed and get that emotional connection with objects that are in 3D because this is how our biology works. What she just said is backed by some major studies. Take, for instance, this study conducted by Jacqueline C. Snow and colleagues at the University of Nevada Psychology Department. They compared memory for everyday household objects displayed in three formats, real-world objects, colored photographs, and black and white line drawings. The result was fascinating. Recall and recognition performance was significantly better for real objects compared to their 2D counterparts, photos and drawings. This suggests that real objects, because they are in 3D, are more memorable than 2D objects like pictures. Another study by Sweden University scholars investigated whether 3D displays enhance spatial memory. The results indicated that a realistic 3D display better supports spatial memory tasks such as learning the location of an object. While we usually rely on 2D image presentations for medical knowledge, 
our so-called visual motor system, a fancy term referring to our visual perception and motor control system, has evolved to perceive and interact with real-world objects. It's this profound impact that 3D objects have on our cognition that makes holograms such a valuable resource for healthcare. Holograms take 3D visuals to a whole new level. It's sometimes called augmented reality, AR, in public. If you've ever watched a sports game, you've probably seen AR without knowing what it is. It's the texts and lines that usually appear on the pitch, as if they were physically there, but they're not. They're all computer generated to enhance our perception and can only be visible on screens, not on the pitch for the attendees. You've seen the uh, VR or AR, for example, the success of those technologies. The only thing that was missing out is that you always have to put something on your face, right, wearable. And it's not public, you can't share it. With our technology, what we're bringing is, sometimes we'll call it public AR, experience that in 3D, but that you can share and experience without putting any goggles onto your face. Immersive presentations, however, now include not just AR and VR, but also MR, representing mixed reality, a dynamic blend of the physical and virtual worlds. At the University of Cambridge's medical department, specialized goggles are employed to create an MR environment. In this setting, students can practice surgical procedures on holographic representations of human anatomy. Can you believe it? Listen to what this Cambridge University doctor recently told Inside Edition. Simulation allows us to do is to have our students uh, fail in a safe environment and to feel safe to fail. Um, of course, uh, that's not something we want to do with real patients. You've probably already seen Microsoft's HoloLens, an augmented reality AR or mixed reality MR headset. But with the launch of HoloLens 2, the technology has recently become a lot more advanced, allowing for mixed reality, which has proven incredibly useful in healthcare. Um, so this can be used uh, to teach anatomy in, in just really exciting, uh, engaging new ways. So let's pull the, the skin away. We'll delete that. Now we're getting really inside the head. If you want to come and join me around this. Sure, side, let's do that. Um, what I'm going to do, firstly, you can see the nervous system, the circulatory system, obviously we've got the muscles. We can take a slice through the muscle uh, and remove all of that uh, just to show the skull beneath. So we can interactively cut wow. through and take a look at that. From Asia to Europe to the United States, multiple healthcare institutions say they already use the technology and have seen its transformative impact. At Singapore's National University Hospital, NUHAs for instance, surgeons use HoloLens 2 for planning and guiding over 100 cases across various specializations, including neurosurgery, cardiac, liver transplant, and facial reconstruction surgeries. The technology allows precise 3D visualizations of real-world objects, enabling doctors to consult MRI images in 3D at the point of care. Traditionally, when we teach the students, the nursing students, we teach them in the nursing lab. That's quite labor intensive. There's a lot of logistics to organize as well. So what happens is that the students take turn to do their practice and it can be quite time consuming. With the mixed reality, actually it's more efficient because the students can get undivided attention in terms of our time. It is more efficient. It is also more flexible and the students can sign up you know, and come for their practice whenever they feel like or in their convenience. At Imperial College in London, HoloLens 2 has had a more measurable impact, leading to an 83% reduction in the time staff spend in high-risk areas. Surgeons use it for planning and guiding surgeries, optimizing patient care while minimizing the need for personal protective equipment, PPE. While this technology has been designed with patients in mind, it has significant benefits for healthcare providers as well. According to a study published by Microsoft, HoloLens 2 has allowed providers to be more efficient in ward rounds, reduce time needed for training, and save millions of dollars in the process. Now try to envision what medical professionals can achieve with a goggle-free hologram. 
It allows them to visualize anatomical structures in three dimensions without the need for additional equipment. Let's use the heart for an example, mm. move the heart round and actually look at the valve. Mm. Look at the valve from different angles. That must give the, 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 the kind of training surgeons more information than just seeing a picture of it. Have you seen a growing interest from, uh, let's say, the medical uh, industry? in your technology and have they reached out to universities we, we, or hospitals? Yeah, we're starting to work with universities now. So we have a number of universities in the UK that we're engaged with and my colleagues in other areas across the world are also engaged with, with these as well. Um, healthcare is something that the interest is picking up now. Can holograms completely replace cadavers in medical training? That's a question that remains to be answered. But think about all the benefits that reusable holograms can provide here. Surgeons can interact with virtual 3D models of organs, bones, and tissues, gaining an intuitive understanding of their spatial relationships. This improved visualization allows doctors to do preoperative training as well as post-surgery assessments. Here is how it happens. Holographic representations provide a realistic view of patient-specific anatomy. Surgeons can visually manipulate and explore the holograms, identifying optimal incision points, assessing potential risks, and planning the best possible surgical approach. It's almost like allowing a surgeon to perform a surgery twice on the same patient. It's not just that. The reduced cognitive load that comes with using holograms is no small feat. Think about the traditional 2D medical images such as MRI or CT scans in a surgical practice. These images require surgeons to mentally reconstruct the 3D anatomy to understand it. Holograms eliminate this cognitive burden by directly presenting the anatomy in its true form. Surgeons can focus on more important tasks, such as clinical decision-making, rather than mentally converting 2D slices into 3D structures. Studies already show holograms enhance learning for medical science students, but while the surgical benefits of holograms are still being explored, they have already been proven effective in at least one healthcare domain. At Tartu University Hospital in Estonia, 3D holograms of cartoon characters created by HyperVSN reduce children's fear during procedures, resulting in a 95% pain reduction and improved efficiency for medical staff. We already have a case study that shows that our tech, when little kids are going through some procedures, they draw their attention so much that they, they forget about the pain. Wouldn't it be amazing if every children's hospital had this? If you were a parent, you would agree that few things are as distressing as seeing your child crying in pain and fear while in a hospital. My name's Alex. Um, just wanted to... Of course, holograms can be useful in other healthcare areas as well. For example, in remote consultations, healthcare providers can collaborate and consult with colleagues across different locations. In patient education, which remains a major challenge globally, they can be used to help patients learn more about their medical conditions. Imagine a patient diagnosed with a brain-related condition like tumor. Traditionally, a doctor might use diagrams or MRI scans to explain the condition, which can be difficult for the patient to understand. With hologram, the doctor can project a 3D model of the patient's brain highlighting the tumor. The patient can view the hologram from different angles, better understanding the location and severity of the tumor. What do you think, guys? Will holograms eliminate all the mistakes that happen during surgeries? Unlikely. But to me, the advancements in this technology show real promise in making surgeries more precise, patients better informed, and our overall healthcare system better. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.